Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of Eat Meals with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today, as promised, we are going to go over some fungo pizza. So let's get rolling with a fresh dish with this guy right here. And our meaty one piece of dish of Eat Meals with Aaron. I guess I didn't really need the yell at the end. Let's go. Funko Pops, we all love them, we all hate them, we all want to collect them, but the one thing that we do have to admit, sometimes they put out some Funko Pops that are just so freaking cool, you say to yourself, I need that sun gun, and I don't care how, what if, ands, or buts, ways I'm going to get it. Now, that was me for One Piece, that's for me for Naruto, that's me for maybe some Sailor Moon, just kidding, <laughs> I don't collect any Sailor Moon. Or should I? And in other news, it is actually really sad that I did not get those Funko Pops that I wanted for WonderCon. Eventually, I'm sure I will get them, and if not, I will cry a river. But not today, folks. Not today. That river will not be cried. Because we are going to open up some Funko Pops and get excited! Double thumbs up! Alright, so the other day, let's go quote this as last Friday, because I remember refreshing to some bitch 15,000 times, there was a drop for the Pirate King, the first Gold D. Roger. Now, Gold D. Roger is a big, big, big figure in One Piece. He is the one who said that he left his treasure to everyone before he was executed, and everyone who meant to make a straight beeline to the blue line, or the red line, one of the lines. And that is where our story starts with One Piece with Shanks, who was a former Roger member, who then gave his hat to Luffy. And now Luffy is on his way to get the One Piece, or at least try to get the One Piece. You know, there's probably going to be some shenanigans along the way, but the story is about Luffy. So he has to eventually get that One Piece. But we're not talking about Luffy. We're talking about Goldie Roger, the original owner of the Straw Hat. Now, the Roger Pirates, of course, is headed by Goldie Roger. He had his trusty Ray Lee, who they called the Dark Knight, or the Dark King. Either or, Ray Lee was husky. And if you knew this, I will spill this now. No one on the Roger crew possessed a devil fruit. That is right, his crew was devil fruitless, meaning they used hockey and their skills to be the awesome pirates that they were. And it was Goldie Roger and Garp. Who defeated the Rocks Pirates at the infamous fight? Now, we do only see bits and pieces in the One Piece anime of Roger. We see him being husky as shit, fighting Odin. We see him being husky in general. His hockey was off the charts. And even Kaido acknowledged that Roger was the strongest pirate, and he didn't even have the Devil Fruits. No Devil Fruit, that means his hockey was on point. The best hockey in the world, maybe on par with Mr. Shanks. But we'll never know since Roger has passed away. And we do know that Goldie Roger is the father of Ace. All right, and that is enough of me saying all this dumb shit. And let's just get to the Funko Pop itself. And, it so and I got this box right here. ba -boom. And this box right here. So they had a special at the Funko Shop. If you bought two exclusive Funko Pops, they would give you some kind of UV special protector uh, Funko Pop thingy-mabobber. Now, I don't think I have any of these. Excuse me. And I'm not sure how husky these are, but now that I'm looking at it, this thing had to have been about $10 to $15, right? It's a hard case. Now, I would think that the reason they would give you a hard case is because they would at least give you one chase with it, right? Well, you'll see. Alright, so we're going to just put this out of the way and not worry about it right now. And then we're going to go and open this Funko box right here. I will open it towards you guys. And let's go and see. What do we get? Did we score the chase? One, two, oh no! Oh my god! We got a chase! We did it everybody! We got a chase! Funko, you finally came through on the East Coast and you got me a chase! All right, sweet. I mean, look, the box fell and I was a little worried about it when I saw the chase circle on the ground. But just, you know, throwing this around, it looks pretty good. I'm freaking I'm so happy. Finally, one for the bad guy. I feel like Razor Ramon right now. And, of course, we got, when they got me account, look, you got to get both. You have to have one, you got to compliment the other. These are amazing. Here they are. I'll show them right here. These are looking sweet. I'll do a little dee. All right, cool. Um, and you know, these, these are pimp. And we're going to open these bad boys up. We finally got a chase. 
finally got a chase from the Funko Shop that was not a shitty-ass die-cast. Look, I'll throw it out there. The die-casts are cool, but yo, this Roger chase is on p -p 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 point Awesome. All right, we're going to open this one up first. We're going to carefully open this one up first. Ah, oh, this is an exciting day. You know, if I got all my other packages and I got a bunch of chases, I would be so, so happy. Oh, my God. Look at Roger looking pimp. He's got a sword. He's got his jacket on. He's got his hat looking fancy. He's got his pirate emblem above his head. This dude is pimp. I'll turn him around. Looking good, looking good. Look at that stash. Look at this stash. Who can pull off a mustache like that other than Goldie Roger? Me. Yes, yes, I admit it. I would probably be able to pull it off. But dude, this guy is sick. Uh, you know what? I, If I can get another one of even the common, I think I'm going to give my uh, to my buddy Tony. Because Tony also is a big fan of One Piece, even though he doesn't read the Magna. And it drives me nuts that I can't Rona for him. Or we can't even discuss it. And then we need to open up the common version. And here we go. Hey! Pop is baby open. I gotta chase, I gotta chase. And they do come with stands, but um, in episode of 8 Minutes on Air, and they stand on their own. All right, and here is the other one, the Goldie Roger. That is not a chase. Come on, come on. Come on, Roger, don't fall down there. And uh, just looking at them, the only difference is the hat. But, yo, look how much the hat makes a difference. Hmm. Look how sick a hat makes a difference. He's Yo, if I if I did have two commons, I'd be like, bing, bing, a little bit harder. You know, I I did. I was really rough on my Beanie Babies as a kid. I've I've learned my lesson. But yo, I can get two of them and swear. Oh shit! When I get the white uh white beard from GameStop, if it ever comes, I can have a sword. I get Goldie Roger actually versus White Beard. Come on, how pimp is that? That is a freaking gold. I am making gold moments on eight minutes with Aaron. Ah, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. All right. Oh, no. I don't know. They weren't standing up. You got to stand up. Come on, guys. Got to stand up on your own on eight minutes with Aaron. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Roger, you had it before. Uh, uh, Roger. Uh. All right. Well, they're standing up together right now. Look at that. Hey, little assist is all I need to see. All right, where, where, where is it? Oh, man, where's my up and down? It's on the ground. All right, we got to give these ups and downs before the last episode, or the time runs on the image with Aaron. Uh, Roger, uh, Chase, you are getting an up. All right, and Roger, the common version without a hat, you are getting an up. Funko, I guess this week I'm going to give you an up. My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I will see you next time when we discuss some more things, more stuff, and maybe some more Funko Pops. I'll see you later. Peace.